And as we get into the app here, everything loads up. So you can see a few things here. We have our screenshots, hold to talk. That's how you talk to the camera, record button. All right, today we're back with another solar PTZ camera. I swear, there may be like one more after this. I think I'm retiring from solar PTZ cameras after this. Special thanks to my friends over at this company who are nice enough to send us their solar battery wireless security camera. Of course, like I always do, we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We'll go through the unboxing of this camera. We'll see exactly what comes in the box. And then I'll do a simple setup process just showing you how you connect this device to the Wi-Fi to be able to use it as well as a look around some of the settings and stuff. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Let's check out this solar PTZ camera. All right, let's open up our solar battery wireless security camera. Little uh, look at the sticker there. This is a five megapixel solar camera and company name there. A little bit of the features there. Supports up to 128 gig micro SD card, nice. And some key features over here. Smart access via the free app, enhanced HD night vision, motion detection, and what's in the box, but I'm about to show you that. So let's open this on up, take a look at it here, see what all comes in the box. We got 24 hour video surveillance sticker, love those. Then included little Instruction manual, nice. And of course, I can get it out. Nice little included solar panel here. Nice long cable, USB-C type, love it. And a ton of other stuff down in here. So what do we got? We got, that's the actual camera mount. You just put your screws in here on the wall and then the camera slides on. We got solar panel mount, screws and screws, then a USB-A to USB-C cable to charge it up if you're not using the solar panel. Oh, that must be uh, to clog up the port in case you're not using the solar. And uh, looks like lastly, some stickers for mounting it. And that's it for the box. So as I look at this camera, got the nice company name here. Here on the bottom, we have this is Batman knife. We have micro SD card slot, reset button, and a power button right here. So that's pretty easy. Nothing else around that. And a speaker on the back, and that's really about it. So like I mentioned, this would essentially slide and clip into place here. And there's that USB-C port for the solar panel, which is what this is for if you're not using the USB-C port. Like I always do, let's download their app. Let's go through the setup process with this camera and we'll show you what to do right here. So here's the QR codes. Download the app you'll need from the App Store, the Cloud Edge app. This is the app here. Install this on your phone, make you an account and log in. We'll show you what to do next. So this is the app here, all ready to go. Now let's... Go back into here, and the right one here is the power button from my view, so I'm gonna hold it down. There we go. Got a little light, nice. Gonna unplug the charger, and guess I'm gonna give this a moment. Let me give this a moment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold the other button, the reset button, for three seconds, just because a lot of cameras want that. So we'll hold that down. There we go. Now, we should be officially ready to go. So. As I'm in my app, I'll just click add device. We'll allow it to find nearby devices. Allow while using the app. Let's see if it pulls it up. If not, we'll just go to cameras. So, which as of now, it's not pulling it up. So we'll just click battery camera, Wi-Fi. We've already done this, so we'll click next. We did the reset, we'll click next. We'll put in our Wi-Fi password. And now we're gonna get a QR code on our phone screen that we'll scan with the camera. So there's our QR code, we'll scan it. There we go. Click next since we heard the sound. And now it's going through the process to add this device to our network. Give it a moment to do its thing. Well, it's already done. There it is, we'll click next. We'll give it a new name of, there we go. Click okay and done. And then just the setup process, which we'll go through all that later. All right, so let's click our play button. And as we get into the app here, everything loads up. So you can see a few things here. We have our screenshots, hold to talk. That's how you talk to the camera, record button. This enables and disables your motion detection. This of course enables and disables the light on the front. You've got your PTZ settings here. So if you want to move that around nice and easy, then you even have a little swipe 
where you have your siren, your album, your audio warnings and strobe lights, and where you can enable the full color mode, which I would probably recommend full color mode for the best night vision experience. You can, of course, also go to these settings in the top right, where you have your name, your Wi-Fi information, your, your alerts, alarm management, image settings, where you can flip the image and stuff like that. Installation guide, you can turn on or off the blue light, so if you want that off, off that's up to you all of your sound settings like put the speaker to 100 your battery management and your recording management and then of course you can link it with alexa and get cloud storage and all that fun stuff too so and so that is essentially a look around this camera's setup process so there you have it that's a look at this solar ptz camera's setup process and unboxing everything that you would absolutely need to set up this camera with a solar panel and forget about it i'd highly recommend the micro sd card just because then you get some local storage with the solar panel you'll never have to take it down and charge it and You've got the full pan and tilt with the lights and the night vision. And to be honest, this is a great camera for on the side of your house to get people who maybe are walking through or something like that. If you want to protect an area very well 24 seven with or without Wi-Fi, as long as you have an SD card in here, that would be the way to go. I'll of course have this exact solar PTZ camera from from my friends at this company. Link down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. See you in the next one. Deuces.